tomorrow. I'll then book plane tickets for our trip next week, and my kids gotta go to the library to look up dinosaurs. Hey, we can take care of all that before we go. Yeah, right. Oh, with America Online. America Online can do all that? Yeah. How about sending your mom some nice flowers? All you do is click on Marketplace, we place an order. Call me to America Online. <laughs> Testing, testing, one, two, three. Can the peeps in the world hear me today? Can the peeps in the world hear me today? Hey, tell me the, the audio levels here. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here today. First stream ever. I've upgraded from dial-up internet <laughs> to the future. It is time to rock and roll. First stream ever. Got to be something I know. Got to be something that I'm so ingrained into my own DNA. Got to do something. Got to do something that I know from my heart. We're going to be ranking all the mainline Sonic game soundtracks from start to finish. People are going to be angry. <laughs> so let's get to it. Sonic Adventure. Actually, all you know what? All these going to eat. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, we're done. Yeah, see you guys later. No. From the start here, from the start. So, let's see. The thing about soundtracks, like these soundtracks, is like, some, some of these soundtracks are really good, but do they reflect the motif of the game? Do they represent what the game is going for? Can it enhance the game? Because it's a crappy game. So. <laughs> we're going to do this one by one. as little by little. We're going to go from the very beginning to the very end. So at the very beginning we have. Let's see here. We have. Where is Sonic 1 at? Here we go. Sonic 1. Okay. Sonic 1. Is. It's done by the bassist of Dreams Come True. Very city city pop vibe. I hate to say that, but it's it's very much of the time, right? Very cool for a soundtrack at this time because it's it's actual like music, you know. It's not just bleeps and bloops anymore. We've gone to something that's more evolved, like Yellow Magic Orchestra, you know, and, and the like. Just actual like popular Japanese music. It's here's what we'll do. We'll put the highest we'll go is A, and then at the very end we'll um. We'll bring it in the bottom here. Let me get the chat in view here so I can actually see you guys talking. Because you guys are talking some shit! Nah. Let's see. The internet do be hitting. Thanks guys for coming through. I really appreciate it. Alright, so Sonic 1, I mean, it's it's gotta go. It's gotta go A tier. It's... It's extremely strong. I may change my opinion about that later. Actually, you know what? It goes in B. And I'll tell you why it goes in B later. It's a strong fundamental start, but I don't think every song services the game. Quite frankly. So let's see. Let's go to Sonic 2. Let's just get this, this tier list going, right? This is in B tier. Because this... This is A tier. It might go up into S later when we move out to that segment. Everything Sonic 1 does down to the gameplay, down to the music, down to the level design, down to the colors, down to the pixel art, down to everything is done better here. I don't think anybody could argue that. If you can't argue it, I'm going to argue with you. <laughs> Let's see. Next up we have Sonic 3. Sonic Race. Hmm. Yo, Meta, what's poppin'? Everybody's coming through tonight. <sighs> is three as good as two? Three's pretty damn good.
We're gonna be doing S tier later after Reminded Brothers coming through. We're gonna be doing S tier later. Um, so A is like where you can be to get up to S. This this is a pretty damn good soundtrack. <laughs> Those first three games are like that. What a run! Literally built up Sega, and as soon as they were done with three, dude, they just fell off continuously. That's a tough one. What's next? What's after? What's like the next mainline game? Does it really jump all the way to Sonic Adventure at that point? Jesus. Well, we're not gonna do. We're not gonna do Game Gear games. I'm gonna be doing this. Okay. I do have a Discord. It should be in the description. If you have enjoyed already, Meta. Oh, you're right, Rufus. It is CD. I think we could all agree here that even before we do the rankings for us, that, uh... Easy. Easy. No debate. It's got two fucking baller soundtracks, dude. <laughs> no one's gonna debate this. You can debate the gameplay all day. But, uh... Formative, formative soundtrack for me personally. Sonic Adventure, okay, this is this is the game, right? This is the game. Everybody knows the soundtrack, open your heart, all that jazz. I'll have to get this set up next time for the uh, for the chat and everything. We we I literally just got fiber internet today like hours ago. You know, I'm trying to like make this work. As, as seamlessly as possible. This is it, this might be my first stream, but this is more or less a a test test stream, you know. So, but the the streams later on with this kind of tier list and stuff, like you know, in, invite your friends, invite everybody to get in the Discord, and we'll have a full on heated debate. <laughs> but this is my stream. This is my first stream, and I want to do it the way I want to do it. And I'm gonna put Sonic Adventure right here. It might move up to S later. But I think that's not debatable. This is also not debatable. <laughs> Adventure is probably going to move up to S. But I'm, I'm making the hard calls right now that these two. And there's a debate to be had. You know what? You're right. You're right. You know what? You're right. You guys are right. I'm denying myself. See, I'm trying to be a people pleaser. You know what? Screw it. If I think it's S tier, it's going to S tier. I'm not going to do this uh, crappy, <laughs> crappy, like, oh, we'll, we'll see what they, you know, we'll see if they make it out of A. Nah. These were going to happen regardless. We're listening to uh, Sonic Adventure music right now, actually. This is the, the fish hits music from uh, Biggs Levels. So, so here's the thing, right, is that I think both of these soundtracks do something that are completely different, but are both extremely valid. I do think Adventure 2 soundtrack is a lot more cinematic, but Sonic Adventure 2, or Sonic Adventure 1 soundtrack is a lot more like what was keen to that point, you know, like what Sonic music was up to that point. I think it actually has a more varied soundtrack than even Adventure 2 has, personally. I think they both have a really strong message in their music. <laughs> Mystic Forest. How'd it go, Ducky? You have, to, you have to type the lyrics for me. I was about to sing uh, Enigma. <laughs> <laughs> it's like something like that. <laughs> oh, you're right. That's what you got. Himalaya? Himalaya? -y? Yeah, I will agree, Rufus. I think the Sonic Adventure 2 soundtrack is more cohesive. But what I like about Sonic Adventure just as a whole is that I've, be I've begun to love it in different ways and almost more than two. 
because it's it's literally just the 3D version of what Classic Sonic was. So it's it's definitely not as cohesive in the end, but man, it's colorful. It is super, super, super colorful. All right, we can talk about Sonic Adventure all day. We gotta move on. We got taxes to pay. Maybe not that, but... <laughs> you know what? I forgot Sonic and Knuckles, but that also... They're like the same game. I gotta put it up there. We'll do the fight team later, guys. We got a lot, we got a few more games to go through here. So let's see. I'm I'm gonna put Sonic Rush and Rush Adventure down here for now. I'll tackle them probably a little bit later. I actually haven't played Sonic Rush Adventure at all. Yeah, get the server and talk shit. Please. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Join the server. Ask your friends to join. Because this is this is the new meta. I'm I'm done with remixes. I'm gonna be streaming. I'm gonna be the next Germa. <laughs> Haven't honed my uh, man manicness quite yet. Cause it's kind of weird talking to uh, words. You know, it's 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 easier to talk to uh, actual voices hitting you back, right? So it's a little bit different for me. But we'll don't figure it out. Did I miss Sonic? Why is this also on here? Okay, you know what? You know what? Because it's combined. Yeah, I'll do Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Yeah. I'm just placing it there. I haven't played... Yeah, I've played a lot of Rush, but I haven't played Rush Adventure at all. We'll get to those. We'll get to those. I'm just processing them. <laughs> Put it in A. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Naganuma popping off, right? We'll put, we'll put the portable games down here for now. Uh... I'll play Soldier instead, whatever. Not bottom tier, fellas. This is bottom tier. Hold on. F. Boom. I'm trying to play diplomatic here. <laughs> Let's see. What's next on the list, right? Got Heroes. Here's the thing about Heroes. Coming from somebody who has just covered the music. I used to think this soundtrack was actually more cohesive. It was like the best of both worlds when it came to adventures. I thought it had the colorfulness of Sonic Adventure 1 and also the cinematic value of 2. I realize now that really sticking with it, really listening to it, and covering some of the stuff like Casino Park and Seaside Hill and stuff like that, still one of my favorite soundtracks. It's A at best. Its arrangements are very level-oriented. I feel like a lot of the songs in e in both in all these games, they could just be songs. You know, they could just be standalone. They have their own arrangements and everything. And while two, I really love Sonic Heroes Palette like a lot. It becomes uh, it's very level focused. It's like a bunch of loops. You know, it's it's not the same kind of musical experience. While very good, I still really prefer a lot of the songs in there. I gotta change some of this crap on the freaking one amp. Dark Race Theory. What's next? What's after Heroes? Got the Hedgehog? Where does Shadow go? Anybody know where this goes? It might surprise you. This soundtrack from this crazy ass game that should have never happened goes right here. <laughs> I'm not gonna debate it. Actually, I will debate it. Anybody have any critiques? I'm speaking for the people on this one. We all know. If you were there, you know. Try to find 
soundtrack within my... God, there's so much freaking music, dude. They go so hard. They go so hard, dude. Winamp is failing me right now. I've got too many songs queued up. Yeah, there's Sonic Heroes. Let's see. You're gonna tell me this is anything but us here? This is nasty, dude. This is June Sonoy Unleashed. No more cutesy ass music, bro. We're making... This could be in anything. <laughs> the game completely, completely... undermines the value of the soundtrack. You guys make me play it. You guys are making me play it. Imagine hearing this when you just turned 11. This is formative. This is a core memory shit, okay? <laughs> I can't remember anything at all. I've been turning it all around. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, this is an S tier. No debate. It's simply not debatable. I'm here to have a debate, but this is not debatable. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Back to it. See, I, I'm telling you, I would never lie to you guys. I would never lie to you guys. This is just how it is. <laughs> Mike, you might have called it already. <laughs> You know what, I, I gotta put those, let's see. I'll rank these guys later, because I have opinions about them. <sighs> okay. There's some bangers on this one. And everybody says, hey. The best thing about Sonic is the fact the soundtrack's great. And I'm being... I'm being merciful with this. I'm being super merciful. There's, there's only a handful of times that, like, the first couple of levels, you know, are pretty good. It's just, what, what, the motifs are so weak in this one. Yeah, like, the main themes are good, don't get me wrong. His world, Z-Red version, great stuff. All Shadow, Here's an Absolution, don't get me started on the Junsenoi mix. But it's just not... The, the motifs just aren't strong. It, it doesn't even come close. Not a bad soundtrack. But we're ringing Sonic soundtracks, which almost all of these are baller in some way or another.
<laughs> Making everybody angry. <laughs> this is awesome. Everyone's so mad. I love you guys. <laughs> this, the motifs aren't strong, bro. His world is okay at best. Dreams of an Absolution is probably the best song on here. Crisis City? Crisis City is that same chord progression used in freaking everything. It's the same thing as the Bowser 64, like Mario 64 song. Da -na -na -na. Okay. Whatever. Is it cool? I guess. It's kind of cool when I was like 13. <laughs> <laughs> Better not. You know what? You know what? Looking at some of these other soundtracks. Okay. I'll give it C. You make me think. We'll get back to it. Okay, perfect. What's next, right? Unleashed? Let me tell you something about Unleashed. What if I told you? This was the last AAA Sonic game ever made. That the budget and the love for this game is bar none. That this is the last time I played a Sonic game where I was like, oh shit, I'm going on an adventure. It's called Sonic World Adventure in other countries. All I'm saying is this is not debatable. <laughs> Not even close. Not close. That soundtrack is so good. <laughs> it is so good. That whole game is so good. Has it aged up in some categories? Like, yeah, but the amount of freaking money put into this, dude. It sounds expensive. <laughs> the nuance, man. Sally Dreams, what's good, brother? What's poppin'? We're getting the tier list here. I made everybody mad. <laughs> <laughs> because what 06 tries to do, Unleashed does a, a billion times better. The motifs are strong. It's This is Tomoe Otani's first like foray into being a lead you know music director this is him getting the hang of it it it's a complete disparity like it's it's not even close not even close i'm changing metal harbor i'm sorry I wish Sonic the Fighters was on here, and Sonic R. For the record, I think Sonic R is an S rank, but it's... If there's like another tier, like there should be like a Sonic R tier like above it. It's bar none. <laughs> that soundtrack makes you feel so good. It's unbelievable. I'm just glad everybody showed up. Thank you guys for showing up, even if you don't agree with me. Which, you know, I don't want you to agree with me. I think it's better content if you don't agree with me. <laughs> and after this is over, you should leave on the replies while I'm wrong. Please. Yeah, Dreams, he did the, um... He was behind, like, the Knuckles tracks, right? 
Yeah, Sonic R soundtrack could literally be like, it's, it, God, TJ Davis, Richard Jakes, like, God. Richard never gets enough credit, man. Everyone's like, oh, you know, you got June Snowy's. Hey, look, I, look, that's where I come from, right? Is the June Snowy camp and all those guys. But no one talks about uh, Fumi Kutamani. Nobody, nobody talks about uh, Kenichi Takoi. No one talks about Richard Jakes. No one talks about those guys. Nothing against the guys that are talked about, but there's so much more to it than just the core guys that you can say by name. You know? Otani has been... Otani had a thing where, like, he, he for a while, I think it started with, um... It might have started with Colors Onward, but his work was kind of the same. It was good. Like, I actually like the Sonic Runners soundtrack a lot. I'd probably put Sonic Runners in, in A, even though sometimes I think it's S, but I don't think the whole soundtrack represents that, but it's, uh... I, I was telling the gang earlier that, like, yeah, Sonic... W w <laughs> you know what? I'll save that for later, but I'll bring up... Yeah, I'll bring up later. So what we got next, right? We got, uh... We t well, we technically skipped Secret Rings. We actually technically skipped Secret Rings. Richard stays busy. Not necessarily with Sega, but he stays busy. I knew it was bad, Mike, when I heard the Forces soundtrack, and I was like, oh, that's Nexus. <laughs> like, I have that. <laughs> I can I literally recreate that soundtrack, like, song for song. It's so hard going through this entire playlist, man. I should really just focus on one soundtrack at a time. I'm going to tell you the truth. And you're going to realize it with me. And this is the truth. Think whatever you do about that's about the game. It's a it's a crap game. It's an amazing soundtrack. It is hard, dude. Hard soundtrack. Formative, once again. <laughs> I'm gonna rake it S tier just from that snare alone. Boom, boom. Super short OST. Oh yeah, that's garbage. Odd Rail Sonic. You know, with this this game. I, I played, I, I, I beat it all. You know, when you're a kid, you have nothing else to play. You play the one game you have, right? Like, I beat it all. And the first thing I did in Unleashed, because I couldn't believe it, is boost, go through a level, in a place where you're supposed to keep going, just stop. Because the on-rails in Secret Ring screwed me over so much. I was just so happy that, like, as fast as you could go, you could just stop and look at the, the scenery. And the detail in those levels are, it's crazy. Those levels are huge. But you can't you can't tell me this is an S tier. This is incredible. This is the attitude, man. This is Nietzsche Takoi. Fumiko Tamani. Doing the work. Alright, 
Alright, what do we got next, right? He might have done a... I don't know if he was on this. It's Fumatani and uh, Otani were the ones on it. They make up a, a bulk of it. This is a hard one. I've been thinking about this as soon as I got the news I was going to get fiber. Because it does exactly what Heroes does. It's extremely, extremely colorful. I mean, since the title already. Oh, it's great. It's it's awesome. But does it bring to the table the same things, like the same attitude, like each one of these sticks out in its own way? This part's good though. <laughs> I I've stolen this synth line a billion times though. Wow, wow, wow. Like a port, it was a portamento synth. It's a sine wave. I'd rank it as just from the song alone. <laughs> you're right, no, Mike, you're right. You make a good point. In a way, it does what Sonic Adventure did as well. Yeah, it's not bad. They stuck to a palette and they stuck to a certain sounds, right? But it was like a unified blue kind of like a, you know, experience. Okay, you're right. You're right. I tried to deny it. I just think about how bad that story is, and I just don't want to do anything with it. <laughs> this was the beginning of all of this attitude, give or take its, you know, um, execution. And there's like, oh yeah, we're going to do fourth wall jokes and make just terrible, terrible writing decisions. But yeah, no, the soundtrack's great. The soundtrack's perfect. Who am I to deny it? Oh, this is the... You can wonder, this is the generation group. Okay. Alright, so what's, on, what's next here? Black Knight? I think Black Knight, what what Rings did right, what Secret Rings did right, I think Black Knight fumbled. The music's okay. The music's good. There's some extreme high points on this this whole um, soundtrack, right? But it just doesn't. It's a lot of fluff in between. A lot of it gets lost in the mix. There's a few times where I'm like, oh yeah, this song, right? Like, it didn't really... It's a lot of filler. A lot of filler. I think Night of the Wind is one of Crush 40's like, best tracks. 
you know? Like, I, I think a lot of their songs suffer from, like, Sonic Lyric Syndrome. Called, like, Sonic Hero Syndrome. Where it's like, you know, their, their lyricism is about the game, but the music is, like, super, super good. If you ever try to learn, like, the chord structure of, like, Night of the Wind, and, like, really listen to that, it's it's very complicated. <laughs> it's very, very, co it's very well written. What do you think? This is horrible mixing. If they were to go back and remix maybe some of this record or this uh, soundtrack, like maybe I'd be more inclined to it. This mixing sucks. Yeah, see, Nova. That's what I'm talking about, Nova. Like, it's it's not a, it's not a bad palette. It just is is whatever, you know. I, I was so excited hearing that Crush Forty was going to be doing, or well, like June Snow was going to like direct, like soundtrack for a game again since uh shadow but like when you, this is shadow's his last outing as far as like the main director and then he comes back for uh black knight and it's it's fucking o underwhelming it's nothing yeah june snowy was the director yeah of this one it was like his return like they're trying to crush 40 doing a mainline theme again and like it it just was a lot of fluff, it just wasn't very memorable. Alright, we got it in the Yeah, the guitars are super hollowed out, like, it's, there's, it's like, it sounds like it has phasing issues. That's me getting nerdy about it, like, there's phasing issues with the guitar. Very, very strange. You guys enjoying the stream? A lot of you guys came through, that's really awesome. I mean, Jun Sonoy started with Sonic 3. Um, I'm not it, It's debatable how much he was involved in some of it, it seems like. Good lord, that's harsh. Get back to it. He did, like, some of, like, the carnival, like, bonus music and everything, and then he did his, you know, he did the stuff for, um, 3D Blast, which ended up being reused for, uh, you know, Sonic Adventure. If you're if you're a hardcore soundtrack fan for Sonic, then you, know, you realize that little piece of trivia. I think Junson always just lost his. Uh... Well, I can't I can't speak for the man. I can't speak for the man. But I think Sonic teams sound department is kind of lost in, in direction. Like, yeah, you know, they're doing super good with Frontiers and everything, but uh, I just I just feel like it's <sighs> They're going through a transitional period, because a lot of the old heads are, you know, old, so we're getting a new Sonic team like, group to do the soundtrack, you know, a lot of the new blood coming in. Maybe one day, one day maybe I can be one of those people. All right, all right, what's next? Here we, mm, ah, mm. Mm. My heart says this. My brain says this, but my heart says this.
I'll take some of that. Frontier user. What do you, what do you guys think about Lost World? Because you know what? One of the few games I actually have not beat because I just don't care to play it. It's just not something that resonates in me at all. <laughs> I thought I wanted to try it, got it, played it, and I'm like, this is not for me. It's not even like horrible, it's just not for me. But you guys have an opinion? I mean both. I mean I mean, as far as ranking, yeah, I say the ranking, like what do you guys think, but as a whole, I don't care. <laughs> I really, I really don't have much of an opinion. I got why. It's a really, it's a really weird soundtrack to me because it does a lot of what the, these top tier soundtracks do. A lot of variation, a lot of different motifs. There's like a billion songs but it just doesn't do it's so flat across the board it kind of reflects the whole game it's just flat it, it sounds really like yeah colors is like cartoony but this sounds just like like clown music to me <laughs> yeah right no it's just like Exactly, I completely agree with that. Runners did what Lost World like started to do. It was just a lot more focused of a soundtrack. That's what I'm talking about. Like everyone forgets the soundtrack. It's the thing. It it's not so bad that everyone forgets it, or it's or it's not so bad that people remember it for being bad. It's not so good to even be up here. It's it's probably one of the most forgettable soundtracks, next to Black Knight. And then honestly, God, that's. <laughs> if if Sonic One is our base, then that's that's hard to that's hard to like go against. Oh, I gotta leave this one. Another reason why this is up here. This soundtrack. And it might go lower. This soundtrack sucks. <laughs> This, this game is so nothing. <laughs> it's not good. It's... D calling it dated means that the music was popular to begin with. Is Fist Bump good? You know, I went through a whole phase, right, where I heard Fist Bump and I heard infinite. And I thought they sucked. <laughs> I thought they sucked. I came around. And I was like, you know what? Like, let's let's not be so serious. They're pretty fun. There's some really fun songs. And you know the thing about this soundtrack when it comes to those two songs? Those are the only two songs I even humor to listen to. There's nothing else comes close. <sighs> the EDM is so, it's so gross, bro. The production is so, like back during 2017, 2018, I could have made this soundtrack. And that says a lot, considering I wasn't very good back then. <laughs> This soundtrack is doo doo garbage. They added the episode Shadow stuff where they remixed the uh, some of the Shadow levels, like they did. Um, what was it? Westopolis, White Jungle, and Supporting Me, and butchered all three. 
<laughs> God, the production's bad. It's bad. It's bad. Not good. I, I, I want to say more about it, but it's there, there's no nuance to it. It's cheaply made, and it sounds bad. <laughs> That being said, we did, we did skip one, didn't we? Where do you put the the All Star Game soundtrack? Where do you put Generations, man? Because it does all these right here. It does all these, literally all these, and like some of these as well. Like, does that does that mean it's here? Is it the best soundtrack because of that? Like, where where do you put the All Star? Remix album effectively. I think it goes there. I think this is the best version of Green Hill. I think it's the best version of Chemical Plant. The Sky Sanctuaries, whatever. <laughs> Some of the interpretation, yeah, yeah like what like Nova was saying is like some of the interpretations are like, like I think Rooftop Run actually isn't as good as the original one. I think there's too many elements going on to make it. It, it kind of desaturates what made it good in the first place. It still does it well, you know. But then you have stuff like Chemical Plant, where like the modern version of Chemical Plant is like such an interesting interpretation, right? I mean, could theme could, uh, man. <laughs> yeah, Melted Sea, like, yeah, yeah, they added Time Eater, like, the theme. Like, you listen to this. Okay, it's like, it's, it's like a redux version of, like, Chemical Plant. You know, it's not really doing anything super special. Then you hear this. Man, okay. <laughs> this is cool. What a cool arrangement this is. But then, you know, you got Speed Highway. It's just Speed Highway, but instead of using the uh, like electronic drums they used in Adventure, it's like actual, like an acoustic kit. And they got this horrible classic version. I mean, it's fun. It's fun for the time. This is a really cool version of Cityscape. I don't think it tops it, but I do think it's a, it's an interesting, it's like an actual like arranged song version. And the fact they actually use the guitar solo from It Doesn't Matter in the bridge. You're right, the 3DS, yeah. Big, yeah, Big Arm. I covered Big Arm for my uh, senior talent show. It was a disaster. <laughs> See, it's the, it doesn't matter, it's the same, it's like, listen. Did they get... Can you guys help me answer, did they get Ted Poley back or Tony Harnell back for this version? it wasn't both. I know that for a fact, it was not both of them. I think it was Tony Hardnell. I don't think it was Ted Poley.
Yeah, it's pretty good. I'll, I'll, I'll leave it here, man. Red and Sonic 1, I mean, ah. You know, it did such a good job with these renditions. Some of them are miss, but they weren't total misses, you know. I, I'll leave it there. A part of me wants to put it, like, in uh, B tier with Sonic 1. That's almost like an anniversary thing, right? Because it was, like, the 20th anniversary. I'll leave it where it's at. All right, let's get done to brass tags. <sighs> Ducky in the chat knows how I feel about the soundtrack. Maybe not the soundtrack, but what I feel about this person, this composer, because I'm jealous of his life. So I want his life so bad. <laughs> but I got to give credit where credit's due, man. It's a stellar performance. I think it's a it's it's the safest ten out of ten game like ever. But then forces reminding me that's it's, that's not always the safest bet that you could actually screw up your own formula. Th this game upsets me in a weird way because fans can make a better, more cohesive Sonic experience. 2D, 3D, whatever aside, it can, they can make a more cohesive experience than, like, the main team, dude. That upsets me. <laughs> and it comes in, a, in, like, a similar situation along with, um, with Generations, right, where a lot of the tracks are, you know, they're redone, you no know, versions. But even more so the Generations, like... Let me find it, right? Like... Oh, GDM, man. God. Is it? There's so much love and care put into this. You know, what I try to do with the Adventure Series stuff, musically, like T-Lopes did perfectly with the classic stuff. He understands what makes them work. He had such a good palette of sounds to go into it. It's just, it's great. It's one of the better soundtracks, period. You know? Do I prefer all of them compared to the originals? Not necessarily, but... You know, everyone talks about Studio Opus, right? Amazing, 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 amazing edition. You have to insert yourself in a way, because you, this is a new level, you have to compare yourself with the original soundtrack and then make something that's just as good as that. And while I think it kind of goes a little bit more jazzy and off fruit than the original soundtracks do, mostly because of like, you know, limitations. Because the inspiration for this game was like, what if they made another 2D Sonic game on Saturn? where you can just make CD quality music. You know, you can just do whatever. So I feel like it, it sometimes gets a little bit more jazzy and the motif sometimes gets lost in it. But as soon as you think it's going to get lost, then this happens. You're immediately humming it. Also, my favorite one's Press Garden. Yeah, Act 2's also really good. This game made me feel fresh. You know?
So even, even with my grievances aside and everything, it's it's hard to you, you got to give credit where credit's due. I think I've talked enough about it. So we'll, we'll rank these these games. You know what? We'll we'll go ahead and do this. Um, anybody have an opinion on Triple Trouble? Because I I've never played it. It's a Game Gear soundtrack. Yeah, Mirage Saloon. I'm probably going to put... Okay, so, okay, just listen to me real quick. So th these are going to go in the same package. Because both these games, it's the same kind of thing. I don't think Naganuma was as involved with Rush Adventure. But his style was definitely incorporated from like Sonic Rush going into this one. So it's like, we're doing... It's still Naganuma in spirit, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, but pretty good sampling. Naganuma's style changed drastically at a certain point, and this was kind of the turning point. Oh no! But you go to that to the uh, symphony. I don't think I'll be able to make it. Oh, did they officially upload it? Oh, no, no, no. You mean the, um... You mean for, like, the anniversary. Like, the 30th. Yeah, no, that, that shit was crazy. You should go to it. Definitely go to it. I gotta see uh, Final Fantasy live. Like, um... Back during, I think it was like February or like January or something like that. It's like one of the first things I did for the new year. Super, super good. As successful as uh, the symphony's been doing, um, I wouldn't doubt if they did uh, a potential world tour. Not not soon, but definitely, I could definitely see it happening. <sighs> These are pretty good. So, like, okay, if this is garbage and this is baseline. Like, yeah, yeah, I'll I'll put these here. These, so you get, I'll place these here, and quite frankly, these are soundtracks that I haven't really done a, a huge deep dive, you know, on into, you know. It's kind of hard to listen to uh, DS compressed music. I mean, I'm being a hypocrite, but. Don't think of this as they're not as good as these soundtracks. Think of it that these are better than these soundtracks and are on par with Sonic 1. I'd be keen to put this down here, but I know it's better than that. I just haven't heard it. You gotta put them somewhere. I'm gonna change this to the didn't play here. Even though I, I should put that down there, but... You guys dig where uh, Sonic Rush is? Mostly adventure, because I haven't played it. Well, thing is, I, I haven't gotten to these yet. <laughs> I want to cover these before I did the uh, Frontiers for the last one. Yeah, this is crunchy. It's also here. <laughs> I 
The Organ Man, what a great choice. You're gonna see a pattern here. Almost like a, a ricochet effect, a snowball effect. It's gonna, it's gonna happen like this. And then it's gonna happen like this. This soundtrack? Being on the hardware that it was? Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. These games redefined what Sonic, classic Sonic gameplay music could be, in my personal opinion. It's definitely a um, had to have been there kind of situation. I'm being extremely biased because I remember playing this uh, at my mom's office underneath her desk. I remember crying, transferring my child between this game into Adventure 2. And I, I think I turned the Game Boy off or something too quick, and I lost the child in transit because I didn't save. But yeah, I'm being extremely biased. <laughs> but I think these soundtracks are really fun. And if... And my reasoning for them... Is that, again, this is the baseline. And I think these soundtracks... Do what this game... Does what this game does and just improves upon it while also having the same style. Now that I've done this, I'm looking at Rush again. You got me thinking. You might be right. You might be right. Because now it doesn't make any sense, right? Alright, you won me. I thought I was satisfied with it, but if I'm gonna do this, it's not fair that I do... I, I gotta bump it. I'm gonna keep Rush Adventure down here, because I... I don't think Nagatomo was on this as much. Not to diss the people that were on it. But I just... I, it's just not as strong as this one. I think we can all agree on that. Might be some hits on there. Oh, you're saying it sucks. Well, bro, I'll put it down here if you want to... <laughs> I'll put it... You know what? You know what? I... Yeah, he might have been involved in some of it, but I can't quite recall. I'm actually I'm actually happy with this. This makes more sense to me. It's time for the final one. Now I'm gonna put this here. I have played it, I platted it. What do you guys think where do you think this goes? Um... I'll, I'll let the community decide on Triple Trouble, because that, that's a game that I don't have a lot of affinity for, or uh, have played that much, besides like... Like, was it on Gym Collection? I think I played on Gym Collection back in the day, but... I'll let you guys kind of... Uh, we'll, we'll leave Triple Trouble up to community vote. I haven't. I've seen. I've seen the fan game, but I haven't played it. I'm not much. Uh, contrary to um, 
I, I would say popular belief. I don't think anybody thinks about me that hard. Uh, I, I don't really play Sonic fan games that much. Or really, if all. Not really something I do. I might give it a shot. Maybe I'll play on stream or something. Because I can stream now, fellas. This soundtrack goes here. Yeah, no, it goes here. <laughs> These guys are like, he has the soundtrack on file. He doesn't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting you guys, it's funny. I cannot think with this blasting music in my freaking brain, dude. Alright. Okay, now let's put this back. Okay, where do we put this? This game, much like its gameplay, has the highest highs and some of the lowest lows. Maybe not the lowest. Maybe not like maybe not like D tier low. But it range it, it literally goes from C to S really quickly. I played the um the Frontiers DLC. I hated it. <laughs> I hated it, dude. I was so looking forward to it. And everyone says, everyone says that like, oh, it's hard, right? Yeah, it's hard, it's hard, it's hard. No, you need to re you need to learn more vocabulary, brother, because it's not hard. It's bullshit. <laughs> it's bullshit, and it's um, I'm not gonna call it broken because it, it does somewhat function. But what was wrong with that game, which could easily be remedied by playing it a bit and getting used to it. And, and getting used to like the the way it played like Sonic, right? When you crank the difficulty up and really start to test the physics of this game, it really shows how bad it is. I can go to a whole rant about it, but I'll talk about it some other time. That being said, the music, right? The music, the music, the music. Cyberspace levels go hard. And this is my thoughts on it. Sonic Frontiers does what Sonic Forces tried to do in every regard with the soundtrack. Like, it's, it's super EDM focused and everything, but it actually sounds produced. <laughs> it sounds like there's some time and thought put into it. You could, you could tell how it marinated in the oven just a little bit longer. So that being said, don't worry, it's not going to be easier. It's definitely better than that. Yeah, they didn't have they didn't have a jukebox in um the uh, DLC either. You have to listen to that music, which might have remedied some of my um, complaints with it. If I could listen to something else besides the music that was done for it, which is uh, is it bad? The island music with the characters isn't bad. I also don't care. <laughs> I also just genuinely don't care. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, because I I, I lost my 100% save file and had to play it again. 
so there was a dip between playing the first update with all the uh, the jukebox stuff, then playing it again and getting more jukebox stuff. Correct me if I'm wrong, but is the second set of jukebox songs um just like the movements from the islands, like not from like other games? You know how lame that is? <laughs> Do you realize how lame that is? It's bad. It's really bad. You have a whole pantheon. Look at look at all these games, man. Look at all these games. I don't care if it's from Lost World. I don't care if it's from Forces. I, I don't care if it's from anything. Put any of these songs into this game. Just inject it. Like a syringe, dude. Just put all the music and inject it into the veins of this game. Right? Yeah, Generations, again, we're, we've been here, done that, and for some reason... And you have to find them, right? So, okay, that was like the best part of the game, is that when the first update dropped, you would find the songs, right? Hold on, I'll play another one. Was it 2-1? No, it was 1-2. Yeah, 1-2, there we go. This song fucks, man. Yeah, the collectibles, that was the, that was the best thing, is that even when I completed the game, I went back and got all the soundtrack stuff, and like, going to it, I'm like, oh, what song is it going to be? And then it'd be like, oh, this is this, this is that, we're, we're looking for like, it reminded me of playing like Phantom Pain, right? Like for the mixtapes. And there, there was not a serotonin boost more than sneaking around on a mission, and then your take on me. And like, where's the tape? Where's it at, dude? Your Friday, I'm in love. I gotta get that tape. And I, you know, played on the PC, so I could call the chopper in with any music I wanted. You know, a lot of people play the meme stuff or whatever. Nothing goes harder than when that copter comes in to Panama by Van Halen. Goes in. Getting off tangent. You collect those songs in that first update, and you're like, oh, it's, it, what song is it going to be? You're super excited. I think that game should have had that to begin with. I think it should have more things like that, like costumes and cosmetics that you find on the island that makes them, you know, something to drive you, because it's all just a game loop. And the game loop gets really boring very quickly. Yeah, getting rid of the boost filter, that was super good. I love having a flanger and a uh, high-pass filter on my music. I like listening to it on my phone and waving between both of my ears. My favorite thing to do. <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad you could turn that off. Yeah, uh You know, then with update two, they add more songs. Oh hell yeah, let's go. And then you get a song and it's whatever, like Desert Island movement four, you know. Okay, you know, I'm trying to find these songs so I don't have to listen to the ambience. Because if I want to listen to the ambience in this game, well, quite frankly, if I want to listen to ambience at all, I'm not playing Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> I'll be playing Shinmu or Mahjong listing my vaporwave mixes. <laughs> you know, I'm going to be doing something other than playing Sonic where I want something a little bit more upbeat. I get the atmosphere. Look, I get atmosphere. Okay, I understand... Adding atmosphere into a game, it can enhance it and everything. It's so tedious, dude. No one wants to run around to whatever that it was. Right? Oh, this is so fun to run, run around in. It's good if it was a different game. Was Second Wind uh, Sonic's theme for the uh, islands? I haven't listened to it in full yet. 
Like, I, I beat it and everything, but I haven't, like, did, like, a, a soundtrack section yet. Uh, I think it's some boom clap garbage. I think it should have been, like, liquid drum bass or something. Like, something that's, like, under, you know, it's, it's got a soft, uh, you know, overtone, but it's got, like, just a little bit of a percussion underneath it to move it. I'm sorry, I think, I think it sucks. I, I, I don't think it has any momentum. When you hear that song over and over again where you're trying to do those towers, that don't deserve to be as hard as they are, because of the physics. That Nine Unleashed music is so good, dude. It is so good. I don't know if it would have fit for that game. But the thing about Sonic music in general, and Jun Sonoy said this, the thing that he thinks of the most is the tempo of those tracks, or those older tracks. Uh, yeah, that's extremely important because it's a platformer based off um, momentum. So you want a song that drives you. It has to be a nice, even pace that's like just faster than average to kind of get you want to go faster, you know. And I think the uh, all the music, the new music, and everything, and in this, even just the island, what we're listening to now, like it doesn't do anything. It doesn't even want to go faster. It just my eyes start to burn. It's that type of like tediousy that's like. I'm I'm just sitting here doing this and I, I don't really know why I'm doing it. You know. I don't think anybody's gonna remember him as the lead composer of Sonic 4. I don't think anybody's gonna remember Sonic 4 at all. <laughs> I think they're gonna try to erase that game from history. <laughs> I think they're gonna try to wreck on that that game never happened. They're gonna gaslight everybody. Yeah. Considering that Super Mario World did it with Yoshi. <laughs> or, you know, if we're gonna, you know, take it that far back, but even recently, like, hell, um, I don't know if every, you have to, guys, you have to remind me, guys, like, did every single modern generation stage have a speed-up version? Because Green Hill definitely did. Like, did the double time, like, the drums and everything, and it was, like, a lot more harder rocking. Interesting. Yeah, Sonic R would definitely be here. Just so you guys know, if, if anybody watches this and, and doesn't hear that from me, that Sonic R is it's like an S plus tier. It's like the best soundtrack of all time. Easily. <sighs> Alright, let's let's wrap this up, right? Think about playing a game for this. Spinball? <laughs> and Mike, you're right as well. I'll talk about the uh, the vocal tricks in a minute. I like how gross spinball sounds. Because you, you have to realize it from a boomer point of view. Like, those sounds, when you play them on, like, the actual hardware, is coming from the hardware. <laughs> Those gross, grotesque sounds are literally being mechanically made within your console. It is gross sounding, but it's also really interesting how abrasive it is. Because, like, Super Nintendo couldn't come close to that kind of ab abrasiveness. Yeah, it's so crunchy, bro. It's so crunchy. Like... I mean, in the first, you know, that was a toxic case, like, like, that's so groovy, man. I'd probably put, you know what, <laughs> if, if I have a bias pick, I'd put um, Spinball and B. Yeah, that FM Yamaha chip. Yeah, Moonwalker, same thing, man, same thing. Like, I think the the Super Nintendo soundtracks ended up being more, like, the, the SNES did, like, ambient stuff really well. The Donkey Kong stuff is, like, bar none, some of the best music to ever be created, Smithsonian-level stuff. But the abrasiveness and the, the hard bass, like the Genesis, that's, that's just impressive. Streets of Rage, Sonic stuff, you know. 
I'm blanking right now on the top of my head, but like that, that soundtrack, the, the Genesis was hard. You may not have liked it, but it went hard. Team Sonic Racing, uh... You know, it... Let me, let me get reminded on that. Oh, perfect. Man, does Team Sonic Racing go hard when it wants to go hard? It's kind of hard to rank these. I think it's definitely a better outing for June Snowy than, than Black Knight was as a whole. We need a new Sega All-Stars Racing, okay? I need my uh, virtual on Yakuza representation in those games. I need Burning Rangers representation with like the drivers. There's so many Sega IPs that have I haven't been touched on at all that I need to see with like Sega as a whole has a lot more to offer than just Sonic yeah I do agree so many things so many IPs they could be used that they just didn't really use there's some characters in um in the original All-Stars Racing that like weren't in there did they ever add to Toe Jam and Earl? I'll, I'll say this as well, that, um, yeah, we need, sp we need space carrier card, 110 billion percent. Oh, I think you're right. They might have, they might not have that anymore. They should license that, them out though. I think they should talk to people that do have it, the license. <laughs> yeah, we're still in the deal. It's, it's my stream, but I'm not in a hurry. I'm here. I'm just chilling. But you're right. We should stay on base to some degree, shouldn't we? That's what I'm saying, man. Give me the virtual line. Give me the Burning Rangers. No, no Panzer Dragoon. So true. I didn't even like think about that at first. It's a great idea. Man, when this. Okay, let's get down to brass tacks. If it was 2017, it'd be here. Well. It'd be here. It'd be with... Here's the thing. Shell the Hedgehog was very 2005. It was very of the time. This is very 2017. Is it cool? Yes. Have you heard... At bare minimum, have you heard the Doom soundtrack? Have you heard Revengeance? If it came out around that time, a much different story. We're gonna do, we're gonna do a step. Step by step. It's better than these. It's it's better than these. And I think that's where it stays.
This game tricks you into thinking that it's better than it actually is, on gameplay and soundtrack alone. You'll do monotonous nothing for like three hours, then do a boss fight and think it's the best thing ever made. Not true. You're being lied to. But this is pretty good. <laughs> I think, it, 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 here's the thing, here's the thing as well. A lot of the cyberspace stuff is really good. It's really, really good. There's some really good bops in there. And all the vocal tracks are just stellar. If you haven't heard the, uh, I'm Here Revisited, it's really good. My favorite track is, um, oh, what's the night one? Bide your flame is heavy, dude. This is gent. Yeah, the same stuff, like, you know, it's it, it's kind of sad, you know. And then One Way Dream is, like, an okay song. It's an okay, I, th I think the instrumental is really cool. I do not like the vocals at all. I think it's some canned stuff. I don't like them. Danger Kids is perfect because it's this corny, like, it's so good. Man, this, this game tries to make you think it's better than it is. <laughs> it's really good at it. This is literally Infinite Revisited. You're not wrong. It's infinite more realized. This this is low tuning, dude. Like this is low. <laughs> this is a nine string. This goes deep. I almost would have put it in A, but it's not that good, dude. It's not that good. But most of the time I'm running around, I'm listening to older music from these titles. These vocal tracks are still... These vocal tracks, just hear me out. These vocal tracks are S. Easily. Soup. Amazing. They're amazing. It's one of the best the series has ever offered. It's... But as a whole... Highest highs and the lowest lows, and what do you get? Something in the middle. I think it's complimentary to say it's on it's on par with the original song that I tried. You can change my mind, but like really think about it. There are four songs technically that you end up listening to all the time. Some songs from those stages you listen to some of the time, if at all. Who is listening to the island stuff? Who? If I'm listening to ambient stuff, I'm turning on the uh Silent Hill 2 type beats. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm listening to uh, Fuji Grid TV. I'm listening to Dark Ambient, okay? And not to this year. Yeah, not to this year. It's, it's good ambient. But as a soundtrack, it's a stark contrast, man. That boss rush was stupid. It was stupid. It you love those boss fights so much until you're on a timer, and then on hard mode you have a 12 frame parry window, which is comparable to fighting game parry windows. This is a great song, though.
That hates hard agree. Hard agree that that, what was it, like two seconds for the easy mode perfect parry? It's it's a pretty large window for what it is. I, I heavily, heavily agree. Because you go through the entire game with a, tw it's like 20 billion seconds. It's a stance. Like, I was screwing it up at the beginning because I thought you had to time it. So they're like, oh, no, you just can hold it. And now they have the nerve to tell you to do it now. When the entire time, this game never told you to practice this. It's like, oh, now you're going to have perfect parry? You didn't deserve that, bro. Why didn't you put that in, like, as a mechanic to begin with? Like, they should have added normal parry, like the way you said for the easy mode, like the two seconds or so. And then perfect parry should have given you, like, a special animation with, like, better attack uptime. Two seconds is so long when it comes to a parry window. It's super, super long. Like, I, I come from Street Fighter VI, and that's like a... like th it, For perfect parry, like, it's the same thing. You could hold parry stance, but perfect parry is like three... three or four frames. It's extremely psychotically tight. Oh yeah, no, I, I completely agree. They did not playtest update three. They might have, like, got the gist of it down, but they're... The playtesting was super, super minimal. I agree. I'm down for a challenge. Okay, look, I'm down for a challenge. I, I platted Armored Core 6, which can be the hardest game and also the e easiest game you've ever played. But that your first run of that game is extremely hard, and it, but I never got angry at the game. I just adapted to it. I made a new build, move forward, because the game, I realized up to that point, the game was built incredibly well. Sonic Frontiers does not deserve that same kind of like level design and difficulty. Because it's not that good. So lame, man. So lame. I remember seeing the leaks for uh for Sonic Rangers. Like that's that's what it was called before uh Frontiers and Hearing a bunch of stuff. I also think uh, Sonic, um, Super Sonic 2, whatever you want to call it, like Cyber Super Sonic, was, was nothing. Oh, I get some new animations. Is it cool? Bro, I'm almost 30. I'm not going to be finding this Dragon Ball animations that cool like I used to, okay? If I was 12, I'd be losing my mind. <laughs> but you go through all this garbage to not even get a new ability. You just get to carry some stuff, and he does, like, some, uh, like, Ultra Instinct style stuff. Not nearly as hype as, uh, you know, Goku doing it, you know. Steak was only being in the theater and, and, like, seeing that movie go down and everyone going hype over all those moments, you know. It's, because that movie deserves it. Anyway, see, does this get on your nerves? Turn this freaking shit off. You know, going back to Second Wind, um... Listen to the Tekken 7 Solitude theme. And come back to me on that. It, it starts exactly the same. But where Solitude goes, Sol that whole Tekken 7 is is a game I've played a decent bit of. Like a like a decent bit of. Like Rufus and I, we, we played a little bit. But that soundtrack was my 2017. That soundtrack was ahead of its time in 2017. And this, and this is what like, uh, it, Solitude from Tekken 7. It starts exactly the same. The -la 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 -la, like the piano uh, arpeggio. It's like the same thing. It's the same thing, but it goes, goes completely different. Where, where Solitude goes is, like, insane.
What's the clock, fellas? How long are we streaming for? About an hour and a half? Almost two hours? Alright gang, I think I've I think I've streamed long enough for for my first stream. I think I think this is I, I'm satisfied with this. Um if you don't agree, please uh comment. Please comment. But uh you know what? And then okay, Rush, okay, you know what? We'll put this um we'll put this we'll put this for the top of C. Yeah, I'll pass it to you in a bit. Let's listen to it. But yeah, guys. Hey, thanks for tuning in. This is super good. I might be back in a little bit to do some more. Um, if not, definitely Saturday. I'll be I'll be doing some more streaming. We're going to be playing some uh, Luigi Mansion, okay? We're going to be playing some spooky stuff. Um, maybe playing some more stuff. But we're going to... It's October. It's time to get spooky. It's time to get crazy. So we're going to play some Luigi's Mansion. It's my first, like, uh, Let's Play ordeal and everything. But hey... Thank you guys for coming through. This has been a blast. Okay, the, w what a show up. You guys showed the hell up. And uh, I couldn't be more appreciative of that because I could have been talking to the audience of, you know, a couple. Hey, a couple people that, you know, would, hey, that's cool. But you guys showed up and um, you guys kicked ass. So, bless y'all. Have a good night. If I'm back, you guys will know. If not, you'll also know as well. See you guys later. Peace.